An investment is an asset or item acquired to generate income or appreciation. An investment requires putting capital to work in the form of time, money, effort, etc. In hopes of a greater payoff in the future than what was originally put in. Stay tuned and let's get started. But before we start our very special video. Hey guys, welcome back to my family. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel and remember to click the notification bell so that all the updates will have access to you. There are three main types of investments. Stocks, bonds, cash equivalent. You can invest in any or all three investment types directly or indirectly by buying mutual funds. Another option is to invest in tax-deferred options, such as an IRA or annuity. Well, it's difficult to compare all types of investments because they each have their own set of risks and potential rewards. The best investment option for you will depend on your personal financial situation, investment goals, and risk tolerance. Here is a brief overview of some common investment options. Stocks. A stock is an investment in a specific company. When you purchase a stock, you're buying a share a small piece of the company's earnings and assets. Companies sell shares of stock in their businesses to raise cash. Investors can then buy and sell those shares among themselves. Stocks sometimes earn high returns, but also come with more risk than other investments. Companies can lose value or go out of business. Read our full explainer on stocks. How investors make money? Stock investors make money when the value of the stock they own goes up and they are able to sell that stock for a profit. Some stocks also pay dividends, which are regular distributions of a company's earnings to investors. Here is a brief example of investing in stocks. 1. Open a brokerage account. An investor opens a brokerage account with a financial institution, such as an online brokerage or a traditional brokerage firm. 2. Research potential investments. The investor researches different companies and industries to identify potential investment opportunities. 3. Decide on an investment strategy. The investor decides on a strategy for how to approach their investments, such as buying individual stocks or a diversified portfolio of stocks and other securities. Savings accounts. A regular savings account is an investment. The investor is essentially lending money to the bank. The bank will pay interest to the account holder and will earn its profit by loaning out the rest of the money to businesses at a higher rate of interest. The return on savings accounts is currently quite low, but the risk is essentially zero. In the U.S., savings accounts are fully insured up to $250,000 by the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. E-commerce With e-commerce, the entire world is your storefront. This is especially advantageous for businesses offering a niche product. Starting an e-commerce business inevitably means that you're relying on third parties in a way that can potentially be disruptive. At a minimum, unless you own a shipping company and happen to be a wizard web development, you'll be relying on shipping companies to deliver your products and a web hosting service to keep your site accessible. If your site goes down, you won't be receiving any sales until your web host gets it back up and running. And since you are not hand-delivering your product to the customer, there's the possibility of a chargeback if a package is stolen or delivered to the wrong address. There are several different types of e-commerce. 1. Business to Consumer B2C E-commerce refers to the sale of products or services from a business to an individual consumer. This is the most common type of e-commerce, and examples include online retail stores such as Amazon, eBay, and Etsy. 2. Consumer to Consumer C2C E-commerce refers to the sale of products or services from one individual consumer to another. Examples of C2C e-commerce include platforms like eBay, where individuals can buy and sell items with each other. 3. Business to Business B2B E-commerce refers to the sale of products or services from one business to another. This type of e-commerce is often used for wholesale purchasing and can involve large volumes of goods being purchased at once. Day trading? What is day trading? Day trading refers to a trading strategy where an individual buys and sells the same security in a margin account on the same day in an attempt to profit from small movements in the price of the security. Trades with ratios below 1.0 are likely to produce better results than those with a risk-slash-reward ratio greater than 1.0. For most day traders, risk-slash-reward ratios typically fall between 1.0 and 0.25. Eras 
The SEC Office of Investor Education and Advocacy is issuing this investor alert to warn investors of risk associated with self-directed individual retirement accounts. Self-directed IRA allow investment in a broader and potentially riskier portfolio of assets than other types of IRA. While a broader set of investment options may have appeal, investors should be mindful that investments in self-directed IRA raise risk, including fraudulent schemes, high fees, and volatile performance. But did you know that three main investment vehicles are readily available to most investors, i.e. stocks, bonds, and mutual funds? Some carry more risk than others, and within each asset class, you'll find that risk can also vary quite a bit. Pros, you have diversification in retirement, so all of your accounts aren't tax-deferred. Cons, the maximum contribution is relatively low. You'll still need other retirement vehicles to save enough for retirement. In my opinion, saving accounts has the lowest risk. One can go for it and expect rewards. I am sure you guys like this video, and I will be back soon with a new interesting tip. I am still waiting for your click to subscribe to my channel. Hurry up and stay with us till a new one. Till then, goodbye.